three ways to boost your credit score 100 points in about 90 days i've seen it happen faster sooner and you know higher points in a shorter amount of time but these are three ways based on experience that you can and when i say experience this is either me or my clients that you can use and do in order to boost your credit score what up you got mr smith 0.5 of mr and mrs smith and in this video this segment i want to talk to you about boosting your credit score by 100 points in three ways and one is actually going to be a bonus now i will say this i will say this this is situational so make sure you only apply or take heed to the things that seem like they apply directly to you. Too often I see a lot of people just listen to advice and they accept it as blanket advice. Not every piece of advice is applicable directly to you. That might not be your scenario. So that may not be something you want to do per se, or that may not be something you want to do right away. Now, if you need our assistance, definitely click the available link below. You can set up a free consultation. You can take advantage of our free credit class, whatever you need to do in order to help further your journey in restoring your credit. But nonetheless, let's get into the list. Number one, the first thing I want you to do or consider doing, and this is something that one of my clients did and it boosted their credit score by 225 points in 90 days. I know I told you 100, but 225 points in 90 days when they implemented this strategy. And that was them opening up a new account that allowed them to save money so they can build credit save money so they can build credit that's powerful because it allows you to take money that you never lose and stash it but get credit as if you were paying bills on time and at the end of that segment you can either roll it over into a different account that allows you to build your credit even further or you can withdraw the money i recommend keeping the money flowing in there so you can keep and extend the history of that particular account so if you want to do that all you have to do is click the available link below we have a button that says save money bill credit save money bill credit like a boss it may say something you know fancy like that but nonetheless take advantage of that because that helped my client and the reason why i helped my client the most and make sure this applies to you so this may not be your thing you may already be familiar with this concept and already doing it but the reason why i helped my client the most is because at that particular time they had nothing reporting positive at all it was all negative items that were being reported collections things of that nature so with that being said when they had a new boost of positivity to hit their account it boom blew their credit up 225 points that won't happen with everyone because at least sometimes most people have at least a, a few things reporting positively in this case this was the only positive so it was magnified even more if you're in that scenario where you have nothing but negatives reporting this may help you in that same way. So make sure you uh, apply it if you seem feel as though it's applicable to you. And basically this opens up what we call an installment account. Basically an installment loan is like a card note, a personal loan. Those are installment loans. Revolving loans are like credit cards, which brings me to point two of how you can go about boosting your credit. The second way that you can go about, go about boosting your credit is one of two ways. And this is kind of the one plus the bonus. As it relates to credit cards, if you do not have one, you're leaving 165 points on the table. So you want to open up a credit card and I prefer it to not be a secure card. I prefer it to be with like a banking establishment that you have a relationship with or just a good, you know, uh, credit card company there, the Capital Ones out there, the city, you know, banks out there, the Chases, you know, the Bank of America. And basically you want to establish it with a, a bank that hopefully you have a relationship with. And if they're willing to open up a credit card account, then that helps boost your credit. Why? Because it opens up a line of credit in the form of credit utilization. And that's all about managing your credit in a way on their credit card to where you're spending and not over utilizing or maxing out the card. You want to keep that utilization under 10% because it can make a big difference in your credit score if you have a new open amount of buying power so say you went from not having a credit card at all so you opened up a credit card and now you got a three thousand dollar credit limit that opens up your buying power and it reflects positively on your credit and that has been able to boost people's credit score over 100 points like i stated with credit utilization 165 points comes directly from just that alone now the bonus to that is this if you already have a credit card and it's an unsecured credit card meaning that you didn't have to put any money down one of the ways that I've seen people be able to boost their credit score 100 points is just by paying the credit card debt down. So if you have a high credit utilization, meaning anything above 30, 50%, then guess what? 
you paying down the debt alone will help you boost your credit within that 90 day window due to the fact they'll see, okay, this person is getting more responsible. Okay, they're not needing the credit or over leveraging the credit. They're using it in a responsible way that allows me to say, okay, this person, you know, deserves a credit boost. Let me crank their credit up a little bit. That's just kind of how the formula, the algorithms work for lack of better words. So understanding that is either you apply and get new credit, a new credit card because you need some type of credit utilization effect in your account. But at the same time, you can pay credit cards down and it will help you. When I say down, I mean in a single digits, less than 10%. So if you have a thousand dollar credit limit, then you need to have it under a hundred. If you have a $5,000 credit limit, then your utilization needs to be under 500. So just getting a practice and a habit of doing it. And then you get to a place to where you're paying it off in full, which is even better. So that being said, that's number two and a, and a, and a little bonus. The third thing that I've seen that can help people boost their credit is if you have someone in your family that has good credit, good payment history, good credit utilization, they can add you as an authorized user. Basically what that is, is they can have a credit card already and they can just add you on as an authorized user. The cool thing is that they don't have to give you a card. So in other words, they don't have to jeopardize their credit because one of the things that people think is like, now nah, I want to add you as an authorized user because it might hurt my credit. But in all actuality, they can have the card that would be issued out to be sent directly to them. So that way you're not using it and you're benefiting and they're not hurting themselves in the process. So that's a key point. And what that does for you is if they have good positive payment history, if they have good credit utilization, they have a long, solid history of maintaining a positive credit report and you know they have other things in place such as maybe they paid off a car they have a car note they're currently paying all of these things or portions of these things will be reflected on your credit because you're being carried by them that's also known as piggybacking or adding a trade line you know basically just adding someone as an authorized user but that has been a key strategy that has allowed different people and families and i've seen parents do this with their kids so that their kids start off with a 700 credit score right off the bat because they were able to leverage their credit now i will say this in addition to that that's not to just think that just because you got added as an authorized user if it boosts your credit 100 points or boosts the 700 points that doesn't mean that you're going to automatically qualify for whatever you want because they will still be able to look at their profile and see okay Part of the strength of this credit score is not coming from things and habits that they've directly done. It's based on what somebody else has done. So they know the difference. Yes, it helps with getting, you know, qualified for certain things and approved for certain things. However, you still want to be doing things that help you build a solid credit profile for yourself. But those three ways can be highly beneficial. Share this with somebody else who you feel may benefit. Let me know if this was helpful in any way, shape, form, fashion. Grab your free credit class if you have not already. And if you need our assistance as it relates to getting certain things removed or, you know, things of that nature, click that available link down below. Set up your free consultation and we'll see you in the next video. Salute.